Hi everyone, welcome back. I think we are here for our final part, part four. I told you guys I'm gonna really try to squeeze this into four parts. So I'm sorry that I'm probably gonna have a little less commentary on these pieces in particular and really kind of probably just fly through because I wanna make sure I'm able to get everything into four parts. So again, if I have some time at the end, I'll share a few little messages. Um, but for now, I just wanna jump straight back into the bags. And if I don't have time for my little messages at the end, please just know that I love and appreciate every single one of you who have been on this journey with me, whether you just got on the journey or you've been with me blogging since 2016. I greatly appreciate your support and having this out outlet has literally been everything for me over the years um so please just know that I'm extremely grateful all right I'll share some more lovey-dovey messages if, if I have time but for now I'm gonna try to get through the rest of the bags in part four and as you guys can see like I've been doing this all day the sun has shifted yeah I'm gonna try to get this done and go eat dinner okay let's dive right in so the first bag we're going to talk about is the louis vuitton damier paillettes speedy i did show you guys in one of the earlier parts the damier paillettes um mini pouchette um and so this is the speedy that accompanies it there's also a wallet in this collection which i haven't really made up my mind on yet but for now i really really love the speedy and the mini pouchette Next up is my Louis Vuitton port documents. Um, this is a vintage briefcase. Absolutely love this style. It's pretty common. Um, it's not one that I use a lot. I use it like if I have big meetings for work and stuff because it can fit a laptop and notebook and there's pen holders. So it is a really nice bag. It's one of those that I picked up because it was cheap. I got this one for 200 um, like last year. So I yeah it was kind of one of those like the price is right sort of things like I knew I wasn't going to use it a lot but the price was right and I feel like for the amount of times I have used it I've gotten my money's worth all right next up is the Louis Vuitton presidential briefcase this is my one hard-sided piece that I have I got this like quite some time ago it's really heavy so I'm not gonna break my back trying to show it but it is very pretty um this is a piece that I do not use it's just for show really um I plan on probably making it into like the top of a coffee table or something at some point one day and getting you know some glass cut but for now it's really cute and I enjoy using it for like staging and whatnot and you know maybe one day I will have something like so fancy come up that I have an excuse to pull it out you know this is my no GM I purchased this earlier this year and I got this one I think for like 150 or 200 something like that it was really cheap um so this is another the price is right I actually really like the no GM and I was toying with getting one for a while these just got really high and so I just didn't really want to pay the prices so when I found one and the price was right I I jumped on it and I just went for it Next up, this one isn't really mine. Um, this is my mom's. It was gifted to her, but she doesn't really carry her bags a lot. So, you know, occasionally I kind of yoink it back. So it kind of goes in between the two of us. But this is the Louis Vuitton Tivoli GM. Um, we used to have matching Tivoli GMs, but it's like she doesn't use hers a ton. So I was like, there's really no point enough in us having like two if she's not going to use hers every day. Like, I can just sell one and we can just like use one as we feel like it and she has a wallet in there but I don't really use the wallet but that was her gift for Mother's Day this year she got a monogram wallet it's pretty cute okay next up is my cherry mules and as I've said many times these are my favorite shoes in the whole wide world um I'm a shoe girly and I have like way more shoes than should probably even be legal for one person to have but these are actually my favorite shoes in the entire universe they are these like clog mules in cherry um series with lizard trim I mean yeah I'm 100% obsessed Next up is my Louis Vuitton Montsaris GM and I realized I hadn't showed you guys any backpacks so far so y'all are about to see all my backpacks but this is the Montsaris GM. I purchased this one a couple years ago for like 400 I think not a bad price and it's in like it's in fair condition you know it's it's got its little bit of wear but it's like that's what I refer to as a utility piece like it's not something that I really use to be flashy or showy. I use my Montsaris GM usually as like a travel item so 
it is what it is next is my rondi and i've talked about the rondi in previous videos before but this is also kind of like a flex piece for me um i usually interchange this between being like a pencil pouch and being like a makeup bag it really just depends on what i'm doing but i usually kind of like flex it depending on what i need it for and it gives what it needs to give next is my louis vuitton ellipse mm i purchased this a couple years ago um i think around 350 like it was pretty reasonable in comparison to how much these are now um this is one of my favorite louis vuitton vintage styles just because of like how unique it looks it's it's kind of giving hard sided there's just a lot of features about this style that i really enjoy and i mostly just love it because it's different like i love things that are different okay next up we have my louis vuitton limited edition locket mm and this one is super cute um this was one of like my first treat yourself bags um after i did like one of my first like big girl kind of internships and i got my little summer paycheck i was like yeah i'm a splurge and ball out because i feel like this is an accomplishment and i earned it so i got this bag a while ago um and it wasn't super expensive but i love it and i mean even just looking at it here on camera like you can see like it's giving olivia pope like it's giving high class like it, it, it it's i'm just saying like it, it really embodies just like class and elegance like you can't match it like i don't feel like any other louis vuitton bag like matches it in that sort of category okay next up is my louis vuitton maltzaurus mm this is another famous uh resident of my collection because this one i purchased for 200 dollars, very very cheap um and you know as you can see there's not a bullet hole or anything in it like it's in really good condition um love this bag and this is another one that i use kind of like for little shopping trips or just like when i want to be hands-free but i don't want to have like a lot of stuff this is my troush trouse blush gm had to get that together and i purchased this like the other year this is a really nice cosmetics case um see i have some stuff in here now it's a really nice little cosmetics case it has you know lots of different little compartments you can store stuff it has the elastics for storing your brushes or makeup or whatever really really like it um and it's another one that i usually take with me if i'm like traveling or if i'm doing an event and i need to bring like makeup and skincare or whatever so this is actually the latest addition to my collection. I haven't even posted it on my blog yet. This is the Louis Vuitton um, Mount Saris PM or the mini Mount Saris. It's very, very, very small. I plan on doing a comparison between the Mount Saris PM, MM, and GM because I have not seen that video. I have not seen anybody else do it. And I remember when I first started getting the backpacks, I was really curious about how they differed. So I'm definitely going to film one on that because I feel like that's probably a question that like a lot of people kind of have. Next up is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 18 and I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit my Speedy 18 and I have posted about this one in some other videos that I have but this is a limited edition Louis Vuitton. It was released for the 10 year anniversary of the Louis Vuitton store in Japan and there were only 500 of these made in the world so they're very vintage and they're pretty difficult to come across and as you guys can see I've been like putting bags back it's so cute. Okay these two um these two are my sorry i'm just like peeking around here okay we're good we're good these two are my everyday pieces um so basically it really doesn't matter like what i'm doing or what else i have or don't have these are my everyday staples my um monogram reverse card holder and my um multi clay six these are my staples that i always use um even if i take nothing else else out of the house i have those two items um so yeah everybody always asks like oh what's your most used what's your most used like what do you recommend getting a card holder and a multicolor six next is my louis vuitton mini speedy and monogram not gonna ramble a whole lot about this one because i've shown you guys like three mini speedies by now so it's like y'all y'all get the gist 
Next up is my Louis Vuitton Alma GM in Multicolor Noir. And earlier I showed you guys my Multicolor Alma GM in Multicolor Blanc. So this one I purchased some years ago for like $500 off of eBay. It was very, very cheap uh, impulse buy sort of thing. But honestly, I don't regret it at all because I've never, ever, ever seen one for that cheap ever again. So sometimes in life, you know, you just gotta risk it for the biscuit. It came from Russia. Um, and like it was one of those things where like the ebay seller didn't have any reviews or anything and it was coming from a foreign country and i was like oh my god like nine times out of ten like this is probably a scam but it ended up not being a scam so <laughs> everything worked out in the end and that's another thing i always tell people about how i get bags for really cheap is i take risk like a lot of times i will buy bags that don't make any sense they're really cheap or you know i i take these risks a lot of times and sometimes it doesn't pay off like my followers know i'm actually gonna make another video about this at some point that i got scammed pretty bad recently and barely got my money back um i typically get scammed like two to three times a year which i feel like that's a good percentage given how much i buy but it's like i do get scammed because i do make risky purchases so it's like you win some you lose some i win most of them i win like 99 percent um but you know so that's just one of the ways that i'm able to get stuff super cheap is because i take risk next up we have my louis vuitton multicolor blanc speedy 25 fringe this is a super rare limited edition coveted multicolor speedy this is one that like people either love it or they hate it like some people they see it and they always just like start running off at the mouth about how it's ugly da -da -da, whatever and it's like whatever you think it's ugly because you can't afford it i really don't care but this was one that i got really cheap and i was able to get it cheap because i did a partial trade for this one um this one is usually one that goes for around like 3k um i think i paid like 1200 for it um in a partial trade so i was able to get this one for fairly cheap next up we have my louis vuitton petite no in multicolor noir um i picked up this one i think like last year it was very 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 cheap and that's why i was able to pick it up because i have loved this bag for a long time i just was not willing to pay the prices that they were talking about and as soon as i saw one that was actually within reason to me i a hundred percent jumped on it Next is my Totally MM in Zomie Abin, and you guys have seen this bag around. This is another one of those bags that like has been around from the beginning. It's one of my favorite bags. I feel like it is probably the most practical Louis Vuitton bag you could ever own. Like a lot of people are like, oh, the Speedy, the Neverful. Like, no, I feel like the Totally, um, especially the Zomie Abin Totally is the most practical everyday Louis Vuitton bag. This bag is from like 2014 or 2015 and I still feel that way. It has the exterior pockets. It has the comfortable shoulder shove. Not like those Neverfuls where they be trying to like you know tourniquet your shoulder off no 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 comfortable shoulder straps and it has a zipper because it's like that's always my thing with the neverfuls everybody's always like never full never full never full and it's like i don't want all my business out in the street like i don't want to have all my stuff in a bag and the bag is just flopped wide open at all times like i i really enjoy having a zipper and this bag has been everywhere with me like it has been around the world literally this is my go-to for travel it's my go-to if i have to be on the subway um this bag just feels like really really secure to me and because it's the damier of bean it also has the waterproof factor next up we have the marsha kelly and this is in the epi noir this is another one that's like it's a gift that i gave to my mom um she carries it for like really special occasions but i keep it in here with my stuff um really love this bag this is the third epi um or i'm sorry the third marsha kelly i have i have three of them um, so that's Malshavis Kelly number three. Next up, we have my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in Zomni Azure. And as I've said, this is the only non-limited edition Speedy I have. All of my other Speedies are limited edition, but I really wanted to have a Zomni Azure Speedy. And Tahitian, like, it's still just not really, like, doing it for me. So this is what we got for now. And I think somehow, and hopefully I haven't forgotten anything,
<laughs> we have got our last bag and that is my Louis Vuitton Sac Flannery 45. A lot of people see this and they don't think that it's a really exciting bag, but it's like, I love the Sac Flannery. Um, the Sac Flannery is actually my work bag. Like, you know, I'm not gonna put all my business out there, but like it's loaded up right now. Um, this is the bag that I take to work. Um, I take to conferences because one, look at it, it's huge. It's, it's a very large bag. Um, it has the long shoulder straps, but they're thick. So unlike you never fool people with your tourniquets, it fits very comfortably on my shoulder and it is not uncomfortable at all because the weight distributes well. It's a very large bag. It can fit, you know, a large laptop. I roll in this bag, large laptop, toiletries, you know, extra pair of shoes, anything I need, I can fit it in that bag. So that is absolutely positively a go-to bag for me. And I use it pretty much like three or four times a week. I use it all the time. Whew. So somehow I think we have made it through all the bags. And I say I think because it's like I never really know 100% because I've reached the point where I have so it's very much first world problems. I've reached the point where like I have so many that it's like I never really know. But I think this is it. So nonetheless, I want to take a few moments since I did manage to stay um, in my time frame and just thank you guys so much, every single one of you for being on this journey with me. Um, I started collecting Louis Vuitton. I got my first bag when I was in high school. It was a very rundown Speedy 30. Um, started seriously collecting when I was in college you know I was in a dorm I had like four kind of rundown bags they were rundown but they were mine like y'all know how it is they were mine and they were real y'all know how it is and you know I've really just like grown into this over the years like I never planned on collecting Louis Vuitton like it was never something that I actually like set out to do or planned to do it kind of was just something that happened you know it started off as something fun then it became like a hobby then it became a passion then it basically has kind of become my life at this point um but nonetheless you know whenever you're doing content creating none of this is possible without you guys like literally like people say that expression and I always think it's kind of cliche when they're like this isn't possible without you but like with content creation like it really is not possible without you like so I just want to say how grateful I am and that you know every like every comment every thumbs up like every like oh I enjoyed your videos or like I enjoy watching your videos or like your videos make my day like every single one of those things just like means the world to me and you know I just think it's so interesting because I did a little bit of Instagramming in the beginning and I did a little bit of YouTubing but like not a lot and I really got into it all during kind of like the thralls of the pandemic like a lot of people with interest and you know I was kind of reflecting on that today because that was I think the last time where I filmed like the full my whole collection video and that was when my YouTube and my Instagram both kind of like really blew up like filming that video and so I was really like reflecting on that today of just like how appreciative I was for everybody who supported me during that era because you know it was a really hard time like a lot of people dealt with things differently some people baked bread some people got fit some people didn't get fit I was one um <laughs> so a lot of people just did like so many different things to like pass the time you know being locked in the house everybody was scared like it was such a difficult time um and for me it was this like for me it was you know being here and making videos talking about bags posting pictures like interacting with people online and just like having that social interaction in a time where like social interaction had been almost completely cut off like it made such a huge difference like for me um so just thank you guys so much for being here with me and enjoying my content and just know that like every little kind word you send my way I read it and like if I'm having a bad day or even if I'm having a good day like it just really touches me that you know I'm appreciated in this community I can be myself in this community um and that you know people enjoy what I do.
So I say all that to say because I don't want to ramble and I am a rambler. But I say all of that to say that I greatly appreciate you guys. Um, I hope to make more content for you guys soon. I've been kind of on a roll over these past two days. You know, the creative juices have really been flowing. So I've probably made like seven or eight videos. I don't even know, to be honest. But <laughs> I hope to make more content for you guys. And if there's ever anything specifically that you want to see, please let me know. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or you want to chat whatever feel free to reach out to me on instagram at the louis vuitton princess bye guys